tortillas. All right, welcome to experiment number one. Uh, I'm going to do a different thing today and make uh, tortillas that I've never tried before. Let's see how this experiment goes. Could be pass or fail, we don't know. I'm going to get these gloves on, these mad science gloves, for a very good reason. Today, I'm going to try and make chipotle tortillas. And no, not the style of the restaurant chain you might have heard of. I'm talking about chipotles, chipotle chilies. This is going to be interesting. First thing you want to do is grab your shortening, drop it in there. I already mixed in the uh, baking powder, so that's why if you seem confused as to why I didn't do that, it's already in there. It doesn't take long to whisk it. Um, you can look at the previous video that I made for the original tortillas, um, all on here. That original uh, recipe is, will give you the, the ingredients and how, on how to do it and everything. It's perfect. Anyways, so you got your four cups of flour in here, you got your one eighth teaspoonful of baking powder, uh, and one half cup of shortening. And then you mix it, of course, to uh, make it all grainy. And this time, the gloves, not only are they going to keep my hands from getting dirty, like they did last time, uh, most importantly, <clears throat> it's going to keep the chipotles off of me, which is a good thing, because sometimes you have pee-pee time, and you don't want to have sad pee-pee time. Let me mix this in slowly. Now, what I did here is I made, got about a cup of water four um, canned chipotle chilies. So one can of chipotles would be more than enough for something like this. And plus, I don't even know if it's gonna work. So, let's see. <laughs> um, anyways, you, gotta, you put it in, a, I would say, a food processor and you gotta just grind them up. You might be able to just get away with using the, the sauce that comes in it, the adobo sauce, um, but I don't know. So, let's see if this is a success. Or an utter, terrible, dumb idea. You'll be mixing this for a little bit, and then you will have something at the end. And then you end up with a thing. Ta-da! A ball. Take said ball, put it in a container for 20 minutes, chill out. Chipotles are chilling, chilling chipotles. I make up songs when they're never good. And we're back, where we cut the tortillas into eighths. Alright. And it's the most tedious part of all. Rolling them out. And voila. You have rolled out a chipotle tortilla. Now the fun part. Hopefully the uh, <laughs> salts and spices in this don't burn my eyes as it get burn as it gets uh, heated up. I'm gonna go gloveless now. I think I trust myself not to rub more spices in my face. Cook it the same way you cook the other tortillas. When it starts to get light, that's when it's good to go. Well, it doesn't choke me too much, so. That's a good sign. Flip it after a few seconds, you know, like I said before. Ooh. Ooh. 
That's looking real nice. And I think this is gonna be a success. These look like these look like real tortillas. That probably didn't help at all. Some chefs out there pushing their glasses up going, yeah, that's not how it goes. That's not how you do that. Well, guess what? Uh, you can probably add salt to these ones too. I did not because the, the can of chipotles I used was clearly salty enough to me. Not like I eat cans of chipotles or anything like that. All right, I think it's done. Hmm, that was a successful spicy tortilla. This would go awesome with like cheese crisps or quesadillas, burritos. I don't know, anything you make tortilla with, I think. This is awesome. Experiment one, success.